Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Carolina Outdoor Adventures TV. Today I'm up here in the mountains in western North Carolina fishing on a lake that we fish on quite often and we're going to come up here and try to catch some catfish and some of them nice big brim that's in this lake. Fishing with me today is my mascot Dottie and also my beautiful bride, Julie, and we are going to get a cooler full today. I can almost guarantee it's just a beautiful day, the barometer is right, temperature is probably about 75 degrees out here, so it's not that bad at all. I'm sweating a little bit, We've been out here just trying to look around, trying to find fish, so we're going to get started and see if we can't put a show together for you. So stick around and we'll be right back. After fighting that big catfish, Dottie, I don't know. We might have scared them all away. Huh? You think we scared them all away? I don't know. What's going on, Dottie? Look, Dottie, look at that brim. Whoa! Look at that brim, Dottie. Whoa! Man. Well, look at that, folks. First fish of the day. And he made a mistake of biting my bait. That's a fairly nice brim there. Whoa! Here. This little light rod. Boy, it's a big one, Dottie. This net, brand new, never been used, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm only using eight pound cast line, I don't want to break it. All right. There. Look at that, Dottie. Look, Dottie, what do you think about that? What do you think about that catfish? That catfish is as big as you. All right, in the cooler he goes. We're gonna put him in the cooler, bring him home to bow. All right. There. Let me get a catfish. <laughs> Let me get a catfish. Putting that Zebco 33 to work. What do you think, Dottie? 
<laughs> Come on, baby, you can get him. <laughs> Don't want him whoop ya. <laughs> yeah, okay, now pick it up. All right, there he is. Whoa, look at the size of that cat. Hold on, I'll give you a hand. I can barely lift it. <laughs> All right, well, hold on. I got to get my foot around here in this boat. This little, this little tiny boat right here. I'm going to get him out of the net. Now we'll put the fish grabbers to a test. All right, take that net up front if you would. Easy, easy. Okay, you're good. Look at that, guys. Can't quite fit him in the in the picture. Daddy will show Mommy how you catch them. Mommy was setting the hook. Yeah, she's setting the hook. All right, Mommy set the hook on that one, Daddy. There he is, right there. That's oh, yeah. Fish. Oh, look at that, Daddy. Look, a jumper. That's my fish. Another catfish. Dang it, man. I'm trying not to break any line and break any stuff off. Man, where can you go, folks, in the daytime like this and catch catfish like this? Look at that. There he is, another one. Or these. These uh, outdoor pro gear pliers and fish grabbers make a real good combination. Now, them things are holding on to that catfish, and they're not letting him go. So, um, if you haven't got you any, you probably need to get some. These uh, outdoor pro gear, and uh, they're just a really good item to have on your boat. I like them better than them. Them plastic ones they make, they're okay, but they tend to open up. The plastic tends to give. There's no give on these at all. Gold hook. That's what we're using right there. I want to show everybody what we use to catch that fish on. Now I know we're probably a little bit close on this camera in this boat, but this is one of the Daiwa reels we use. It's the Silvercast 80. Now we've had really good luck with these reels. Now I really like these reels. We um, they were sponsored to us from Daiwa, and we've had good luck with them catching all different sizes of fish, and I just like them because they're just so easy to use. It's an all-metal reel, and I've never had any trouble with it at all. The only thing I don't like about it is the spool is not very big, and it won't hold very much 10-pound test line. If you get broke off two or three times then it's hard to cast because it it does not enough line in the spools of cast good but that's the reel we're using it's really a smooth reel but i want to show you the basic rig that we're doing here okay that we're using now this is my go-to rig if i'm just going to come out pan fishing with worms or crickets or something and what i've got here get a little more line is I've got a slip float and this slip float, slip float allows me to adjust to the depth of the water I'm fishing in. Um, I, I got a number six gold hook on there and a small weight and I have, if you saw the uh, product review I did here back a little while back on these little beads right here and these are beads that helps you adjust your float to the depth that you want your bait to be at. So in other words, you can, I can adjust this down to 25 feet if I want to. 
if that's the de how the depth I want. And what that does is that allows you to target the fish with your bait in a precise area. And it's just easier than using a conventional bob or a float with a spring. And I use these quite a bit. Um, you can get these little bees. They have the strings you can put on there. I stopped using the strings because what happened with the strings is that they eventually they get loose from being in the water and it, it won't stay adjusted. But that little bead, this is 10 pound test line, that little bead will not slide on its own unless I move it myself. But that's just a real quick conventional rig, little trill bobber and just a small weight. And that's all we're using out here today. That's just, just the thing I like to do. I gotta tell you folks, if we weren't fishing in the shade, I, whoop, oh, oh, there's a good fish. I'll get back to you folks. You got him? I got him. Another catfish? Yep. All righty. We'll take him, we'll take him. He's gonna capsize us. He isn't gonna capsize us. He's like Moby Dick. Moby Dick. Oh, pay attention, Jim. Get the catfish in the net. That's right. Back, steer him back here. Oh, there we go. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't believe we would be catching this many fish, even these catfish. Um, like we are during the day, especially if we weren't fishing in the shade. Now, you know, granted, these are mountain catfish, and they're behind the schedule a little bit as far as, as far as the, uh, the pattern goes with the, with the breeding and the, um, uh, having, you know, their eggs and things like that. So, I don't know. These fish may be behind and just coming off the spawn, and that's why they're so active right now. This here is uh, mid-July, and like I said, you know, the lake's up here a little further behind than our lakes down there in Hickory area, so that might be what's going on. Whew. Hand me my phone. I want to look at the barometer just to see what, what's going on barometer-wise, okay? It's right in this bag, right? Let me look and see. You know, I'm a firm believer in watching the barometer and the moon phases. I want to see if the what the barometer says, see if it's rising or falling or if it's low. And I really believe that plays a big part in you know, when you're out fishing. So I did check it earlier, I checked it last evening and it was rising some, but very slowly. And um, we'll see what we got here. Oh, the barometer's falling right now. It was at 28 last night. Wow, this is why we're doing good. Okay, you see that red mark on there? That's where the barometer was last night. And if you look at the arrow where it's now, it's down to 27. 27.82 so the barometer is dropping and anytime you get a pressure point where it's dropping like that especially that quick it just seems I've caught fish better in them times and this goes to show you we're catching literally catfish one right after the other right now so you know study some of your stuff a little more differently and use some scientific evaluation a little bit when you're out fishing. Uh, just don't go out and think it's a beautiful day. You can see we got some cloud cover behind us here and that's a whole lot better than a bluebird day because if it's crystal clear blue skies that's a sure sign you're in a high pressure situation and I've never done really good on a uh, when you've had bluebird skies. All right folks well that's it for today's show. We're off the lake here and we really had a good time today. I had a chance here to bring up my little mascot, Dottie, and my wife, Julie, there, and show them what this lake's about and catch some, some nice fish. Take a look in that cooler there. 
and you can see we've got a full cooler full of catfish and, and brim so we're going to get them back home and get them froze up and, and we'll have a fish fry here one day but thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed it i hope we was able to show you a little bit uh just a simple technique the way we come out and catch catfish we didn't catch no monsters but i wasn't out here to catch monsters so um thanks for tuning in for watching this, this show today and we'll catch you somewhere next week at the great outdoors when we do it all again thanks for watching